morning. I'm Casey, and I'm here to talk to you today about how sustainability has made Hannaford a strong business and how it can make your business strong as well. And I need to thank Jay for um, doing a great introduction into my presentation, but we also have to talk about Whole Foods because, you know, they're kind of a competitor. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk. So um, what we have learned at Hannaford and experienced over the past years is that sustainability supports strong business and it supports it in three key ways. Sustainability practices can be more efficient and save money. Jay talked about that, the whole cutting cost aspect. Sustainability is important to associates. Focusing on sustainability engages employees and having engaged employees leads to more productivity, higher retention, and improved work environment. And when I talk about engagement of employees, I don't mean just our retail employees. I mean engagement at all levels of the organization. I'm proud um, to acknowledge that we have uh, the most representation from Hannaford today at this conference than ever before, um, and primarily from retail leadership. And I'd like to think this is due to their undying commitment to sustainability but I'm sensing it might be the opportunity to heckle me in front of 150 people, <laughs> so they are not allowed to text questions. <laughs> um, and finally, sustainability strengthens your brand. With a stronger brand comes loyal customers and additional sales. So I'm going to, fortunately, sustainability is alive and thriving at Hannaford. It's certainly a point of pride for us, but I want to share a specific story um, that has taken off at our retail stores, and that's the moving to zero waste story. M2Z is what we refer to it as. And it addresses the three concepts I just introduced. I'll tell you how it's saving money, approximately a million dollars in savings. I'll talk to you about how it's engaging associates, all 25,000 plus of our associates in Hannaford. And I'll talk to you about how it's strengthening our brand. So quick background on Hannaford, um, just to set some context. We have 181 stores across five <laughs> states, and specific to the state of New Hampshire, we operate 33 stores in New Hampshire, primarily focused on best in class in the fresh departments. So let me set the scene for the zero waste story. With 181 stores, we generate a lot of sales and a lot of waste. If you can imagine it, and it's, it's not a pretty visual, but in 2012 alone, Hannaford generated 202 million pounds of waste. And we spent over $5 million handling that waste. So we, know, we knew that there was an opportunity to focus here and to control those waste costs. We also knew there was an opportunity to lessen, lessen our impact on the environment. So from there, the goal, zero waste was born. And the goal of zero waste was really three things. Reduce waste volume and cost, increase recycling income, and engage associates in sustainability practices. So back to those three concepts. The first concept I talked about was how sustainability is saving money and can save us money. So let's talk about where the ROI was for zero waste. We decided to track and test our progress in this zero waste initiative in a small set of stores at Hannaford. The success story here by focusing on recycling and reducing waste is this. The 11 stores that tested our zero waste project were averaging about a 62% recycling rate. After going through the moving to zero waste launch, they averaged an 84% recycling rate, so a significant jump. What was great about that was it showed our retail leaders and our, our organizational leadership was there was money on the table to be recovered with sustainability initiatives. We could reduce waste costs, increase income, and oh, by the way, engage associates in sustainability practices. So quickly, this slide just highlights some key savings for us in this project. And what I'll direct you to is if you look at the blue line, that represents 2012. And you can see that 2012 finished almost half, almost half a million dollars less than 2011 in waste costs due to this project. 
and we're trending in the right direction for 2013 if you look at the green line along the bottom. The green line represents, you can't see it, but we've um, saved, we're $300,000 lower year to date than we were 2011 for this year. So the key takeaway, the first key takeaway from this is that sustainability can save you money. You can see how we're reducing costs. So then um, the other piece of the moving to zero waste concept was to reduce waste and then increase recycling. So I'm proud to say that since launching this project, Hannaford has increased our cardboard recycling rate by 8%. And you can see on the left-hand side, there's a picture of two associates actively making a bale and getting ready to recycle more cardboard. Another key point in the zero waste project was focus on food waste diversion, which we're proud to do. We have a great food donation program, but we also um, are working on food waste recycling. And in the past six months, we've added food waste recycling to 18 stores. We have over, over 100 stores, almost 120 stores that are on formal food waste recycling programs. So both of these practices meant less waste in the compactor, less waste handling costs. So part two of why sustainability can make a strong business is that it can engage associates. And honestly, if I could spend the whole presentation on this, this is what I would do. I felt this had the most sig significant and valuable piece of this project. We engaged associates first by getting leadership on board, showing them the ROI, getting the permission to, to launch the zero waste project. But further, where it's really taken off is at retail, where we have identified sustainability teams, we've increased communication, and recognition, and we're tracking stores' progress. So right here you see a sustainability team having a huddle discussing sustainability initiatives, focus of the month, um, stores' results, all those things. The second piece that was critical to engaging associates was communication. And this is a communication board that we have in every single store that is focused on for every associate to read. And the board does a few things, and it's pretty powerful, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, it tracks progress on the left. We have, and I can't go into it because I have eight minutes, but um, tracks stores' progress and where they rank within their district. It shares local and organizational updates. So we have local information. We have monthly focuses. It educates associates. We have, for example, the EPA food recovery hierarchy and also all our recycling programs. And most importantly, it gains individual support by, um, if you see the commitment letter here with the, the multiple signatures, we invite our associates to sign basically a pledge saying they're committed to sustainability practices at Hannaford. So it really gets that individual commitment. The engaging associates piece really energized retail. So this is a point of pride for me that I just experienced in April um, over, over the week of Earth Day. We recognized our stores, we're working on recognition, we recognized the China Main Store as the top recycler in the entire organization. Now that store produced an average of just below, just about four pounds of waste for every 1,000 sales dollars. So you think of $1,000 of groceries and China generated just about four pounds of waste, under a bag of sugar, I think that's four pounds. So it's pretty amazing results. But what I was amazed by was how that store took their recognition and spread it across the store. We gave the store manager a plaque, told him to put it on his communication board, but what the store did was had an entire week-long event. They were able to dress down. They got T-shirts to celebrate their um, recycling award that acknowledged their sustainability. They had contests going with customers all week. And they capped it off with um, a barbecue for customers and associates. So all in all, it was a significant event. And my supervisor always says it's not a party without cake. So we made a big cake for them. <laughs> and here's just a few things that are, that are points of pride for, 
for us in the sustainability department. You'll see a couple of signs. You see the, the looks like a teardrop almost. You'll see those in our stores when you shop at our stores um, for our iceless seafood cases, which we'll talk about. You'll also see a moving to zero sign, most likely in the produce department or on the community board. Um, due to the food waste diversion and the focus on reducing waste, we have a great partnership with New Hampshire Food Bank. And something that's really exciting that I think is an opportunity we can expand on is field trips um, to come to Hannaford. We have revisited the entire curriculum and implemented a whole sustainability zero waste piece to the field trips. Because I don't know about you, but my eight-year-old is teaching me more about sustainability and composting than, than probably Jay. <laughs> so this is my most, uh, my most powerful point of pride, I guess, on the Zero Waste Project is that last year in 2012, we recycled over 70% of that 202 million pounds of waste. So if I can recap, sustainability has made us more efficient, we are engaging associates, and we have a stronger brand. Now, last piece before you leave, this is the interactive part of the session, is um, I can't let you leave without giving you an assignment. <laughs> I guess that's how I operate. But at your tables, you'll see a small card. It's like this. And what this card represents is sort of the next step in our journey um, in sustainability and environmental practices. We're working with an organization called Manimet that has created the Grocery Stewardship Certification. We're very excited to pursue certification for 181 stores, all 181 stores of Hannaford. What we'll do is we're going to create a social marketing experience, experiment here. And Jay actually talked about this earlier. I think there was a question this morning around how much does sustainability really weigh into a consumer's decision? And 70% of U.S. consumers on some level weigh sustainability in their purchasing decisions. So what I invite you to do is take this card into the grocery store the next time that you shop. Hopefully it's at Hannaford. <laughs> I can't help it. I have to plug it. Um, and look for four, these four key elements. They're just part of the, the environmental certification that we're working on. It talks about, I think, composting. Get the card right in front of me. Um, night curtains that can be pulled down to save energy, seafood display cases without ice, and LED lighting. Use it as a treasure hunt. Look for things. If you find them, great. It's kudos to the store, kudos to the store manager for operating a sustainable business. If you don't, it's probably worth handing off to the uh, store manager to investigate and work with Manimet on the certification. We're really excited about the process. We have Manimet here today as well, and we've had a great journey, and we look forward to our next step. <laughs>